Hey, let's check out some yard sales. Got some games here. Bloodborne, the card game. Some D&D stuff. How much are you asking on these? Two each. Four for this one? Four for that one. Yeah. What did you do, ten for the five? So basically yeah, two that. bucks off That's that one. Fine. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Two dollars each, good deal, right there. So I had a yard sale here. This is only one dollar, I'll buy this. This sells for quite a bit, surprisingly. I'll grab this. Two bucks. Two, it says it's one dollar. <laughs> That's from the last place. That's not my, that, you don't see any? There are no tags on nothing. Uh -huh. Oh, so I see. You buy it for a dollar and then you sell it for two. No, I see your racket no, you got going on. No, it. you're a businesswoman. No, I appreciate that. What I did is I got it with all this homeschool and stuff. So uh -huh. I'm hoping somebody will come by. Uh -huh. All right, I'll give you two. So a lot of these board games you've never heard of aren't really worth anything, but then sometimes they are. This one's worth about 20 to $30. That's pretty cool. It reminds me of the flea market falcon. Wow. This, yes. Yeah. You don't see this that much, really. They have this Nordic Trek, which is the cutting edge of modern fitness here. Glad to work out machine. At another yard sale. What else? I want to play this game, but I don't have an Xbox One. Brand new. Nice. Hello, I got three five dollar ones. Would you do thirteen? Uh, okay. Yeah. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I am so excited right now. I just got a switch last week, and I find Mario Odyssey for five dollars at GameStop. That's at least forty bucks. So really cool right there. And uh, these other two are new and sealed. Uh, so we'll try to sell those and make my money back. Heck yeah. And another yard sale. For 50 cents each, I'll grab all these here. Yeah. I know this Dukes of Hazard 2 movie collection is worth a little bit. Uh, hey, be quiet, birds. People are trying to go to a yard sale. How much do you think you would take uh, for all the games? All the games. All, all of them. Uh, I'll take 100 bucks. Uh-huh. Got a bunch of games here. He wants a hundred dollars. Not really worth it. Found another Dead Rising 3. Uh, wish these were cheaper. That would be cool. But one cool thing about yard sales is you get to meet cool dogs. One dollar CDs. I think I'll buy this for a dollar. Yeah, go for it. At the next yard sale here. Hello. I would like to purchase the Black Rain cassette tape because I love a bargain. Alrighty. It's a dollar. 50 cent super dollar, you're right, you're good. Thank you. Nope. Got some CDs here. Would you be interested in just selling the, every, all the CDs? How much would you want? I don't know, what do you think? $10? Sure. Great. What are you gonna do with them all? So I sell things online and stuff. Some I'll save for myself to listen to. Okay. Like I have a CD player in the garage and stuff. So just kind of run of the mill CDs there, but for $10 for two boxes, great deal. So with that CD lot, tons of Christian rock music, tons of 90s and 2000s pop music, which doesn't interest me, but I can lock those up, do okay. And there were a few good ones. Uh, this one probably being the best right here, the Get Up Kids, uh, the EPs, uh, Red Letter Day and Woodson. Heck yeah. At this fancy Goodwill here. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to find anything good as the guy's scanning things off the rack before they're even put on the shelf. I hate Goodwill. So did find this at least. I guess Mr. Amazon seller wasn't that thorough in his searching. Animal Crossing official companion guide. I'm surprised to find this bicycle here. It's a BMX bike, but it's like an oversized BMX bike. Bigger than the average BMX bike. And it's only $6.99. You should buy that. It's six ninety nine. Six dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah. Oh, this is six dollars and ninety nine cents. I hope that kid gets the bicycle. 
Goodwill, I apologize for being rude to you, but it is frustrating when you know a reseller has scanned most things in the store before you even get there, but did get the Animal Crossing book. 59 cents children's book it's labeled as, which isn't wrong. That's fine. I'll take it for 59 cents and be considered a child. At the next thrift shop right here, all DVDs, $1.99. Hopefully that includes the box sets. And if so, I'll grab this BBC one. I hate when you have to pay per DVD. So good news, Gavin and Stacy, that was $2. New and Sealed Billy Jack, that was $2. Bundy, $2. Last, certainly not least, Twin Peaks Complete Series, two bucks. Yeah, yeah. In this thrift shop right here inside the Lakeland Mall, this one always has a ton of DVDs, huge DVD section. They get a lot of new ones in bulk, and they have a bunch of this one, uh, Call of the Midwife Season 9. And these actually sell for a pretty decent amount, so I'll be grabbing those. Also this one right here, A Place to Call Home Season 6, Grace and Frankie, whatever that is. And I've been meaning to see this Bloodsport, the new, well, new-ish movie, Vin Diesel, comic book movie. And heck yeah, Day of the Dead. Of course I have Day of the Dead on DVD already, but not this version. And apparently it has a new documentary. Heck yeah. Back at this thrift store that gives away things for free and I found a few dental books. And uh, you know, not very exciting, but sometimes these things sell for like 50, $100. They are hard sells uh, once they're like, you know, 10th edition, once the 11th edition is out, they're no longer valuable. But yeah, I'll take them for free. Also, they have like a, what looks like a portable toilet in case you, uh, you know, want to take a dump in the front yard, I guess. Not really sure why you would need that. They also have some CDs, but they're just the empty cases. At this spot, Hope Thrift, and then a dollar two forty nine store. That's a little bit confusing. Is everything a dollar plus two forty nine? So it's really uh, three forty nine. They have these bins, which are a pain in the neck to go through. Oh look, it's Steve Martin, King Tut. What a quinky dink. Found a few interesting ones. Battle Royale. I actually already have this exact one. I think for a while you could really only get this in the United States if you imported it. Also found these, but unfortunately they're missing the disc. I uh, would love to have grabbed these. This like Buff Bagwell wrestling one. Too Cold Scorpio right there. Yeah. This one, the host that screamed. Looks like absolute trash. So of course I would like to watch it. I am gonna grab these right here for resale. These Simon and Simon ones are actually worth a uh, little bit of money, so heck yeah. They have G.I. Jane right here. I actually heard they're making a sequel to that movie. Oh, and a large sock. Here at this thrift shop, everything is 75% off. Yeah. Picked up some pretty neat stuff there for 25 cents a pop. Got a bunch of new and sealed DVDs. Most of these aren't worth a ton. My basic rule is if I can get at least $8 for it with free shipping, uh, then I'll buy it. Anything lower than that isn't worth my time. So yeah, picked up these. Oh yeah. American Pie, that's a, a used one, but that contains eight movies. Uh, one of them might actually be good. Not really sure if these hold up, but you know, this is the sell, so who cares? For some reason, down Periscope. That one goes for like $15 new, so that's pretty cool. Got these right here, Rocket Man and Hangar 18. Now my buddy Dave Mustaine from the band Megadeth, he tried to warn me about the secrets of Hangar 18, but just when he was about to get to the point, he, he just started doing a guitar solo. Thanks to the science of time travel, I'm back at this thrift shop a few days later. They have a 2008 Great American Pie Festival t-shirt. That was its best year. Sponsored by Crisco. Too bad it's not my size. So they got in some new CDs and DVDs. Pretty sweet. This Haunted Stories one. Yeah. Beach Boys Dio, nice. And then some CDs here. Red Hot Chili Peppers, the best of. But then it's just stuff from the 80s, before they were even famous, so kind of funny there. Deftones, Ozzy. This hardcore band called Trash Talk. That one's brand new. This one, I mean, Trans Siberian Orchestra. Aerosmith, Credence, Grateful Dead. Found this DVD, What's That Smell? Grant Turner, AKA Ricky. He does ladder comedy. Now that is just too funny. <laughs> 
They say ladder is the best medicine. Back at this thrift store the third time this week, I just can't get enough. This time they have this, the Wiggles Live Hot Potatoes. Believe it or not, I looked it up and it's sold for as high as $50 for the Wiggles. So there's just certain things uh, you should look up uh, if you don't know if they're worth anything or not. Got lucky with that one. And of course I'm gonna grab the Ernest Goes to Camp out of print so it does go for a little bit nowadays and then this one uh fahrenheit uh 451 based on a ray bradbury story i do like ray bradbury but i actually tried to read the book but didn't finish it but if someone can recommend that i watch this movie i will if not i'll just keep it new and sealed yeah heck yeah Heck yeah, Ray is good. Yeah, watch this Pumps shit. up to the channel. Yeah. Don't remember, subscribe. Yeah, there you go. You heard it. Subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time around. Amare.